Today we're making double chocolate banana bread with almond flour. It's so packed with chocolate and banana. You're gonna love this. It comes together in one bowl. The hardest part is waiting the 45 minutes for it to bake in the oven. So let's get started because the sooner we get this in the oven, the sooner you get to have some. So we're gonna start by mashing up three ripe bananas. Now a trick here is to use a flat surface to mash your bananas. It's a lot easier to mash them on a flat surface like a cutting board than it is to do it in your bowl. Now it's up to you how smooth you wanna mash it or if you wanna leave some chunks, but when you are happy with it, throw it in your bowl. And then we're gonna add a quarter cup of maple syrup. So it's not a lot of added sweetener for this recipe because most of your sweetness is coming from the ripe bananas. And then we're gonna add three eggs. Then we'll give it a quick stir before we add our dry ingredients. So we're gonna add two and a half cups of almond flour just on top of our wet, and then half a cup of cocoa powder. Then some teaspoons, we need a teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of vanilla. This is our homemade vanilla. Now we're just gonna give this a quick stir before we get to add our chocolate chips and get it in the oven. You don't have to do this, but I like to do this for loaves and for cookies is to keep a little bit of the chocolate chips back so you can sprinkle it on top and make it look extra delicious. Now grab your loaf pan and we're gonna line it with parchment however you prefer. You can cut and you can fold, you can crumple. We're just gonna crumple it here. Then pour all your batter in and we're gonna smooth it out Top it with our reserved chocolate chips and we're gonna pop it in the oven for 45 minutes to start and then we're gonna do the toothpick test just to see because loaves take a little while to bake but you don't want to over bake them so we're gonna start with 45 minutes and we're gonna add five minutes on if we think we need a little bit more time so I ended up leaving ours in for an additional seven minutes and it's been cooling for about 20 minutes maybe 15 you know me, I can't wait. So you actually see the steam come out when I first cut it, but it's so good when it's warm. It just doesn't cut well. This always reminds me from when I was a kid and we used to eat fresh funk cake out of the oven. It was still steaming and we'd put a scoop of fresh vanilla ice cream on top and it would get all melty. And the combo of the cold and the warm is so perfect.